A coalition of civil society organizations has called on President Bola Hamid Tinumbu to take urgent steps to end mass killings in Nigeria, secure the nation, and ensure justice is served to the perpetrators of these acts of violence. The coalition, comprising of civil society joint action group, Community of Practice Against Mass Atrocities and Nigeria Mons make this known during a world press conference in Abuja. The group who says insecurity has not declined has over 2,000 persons have been killed in mass atrocities nationwide, says there is an urgent need for government to respond to discourage individuals and communities from resorting to self-help. This alarming trend has continued in spite of the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's assurance at the beginning of his presidency in May 2023 to tackle insecurity. It has now been eight months since President Tinubu took his oath of office and yet things have failed to improve. Our tracking shows that at least 2,423 people have been killed in mass atrocities related incidents and at least 1,872 persons were abducted since the beginning of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu's administration until January 2026, um, sorry, 2024. We are particularly concerned about the continued abduction, noting that at least 230 incidents, in most of which multiple victims were involved, occurred within the first two weeks of January 2024 alone. Several communities across the country, including federal capital territory, the seat of government itself, are under siege, with the entire families and some cases, communities taken hostage. Residents are being forced to deplu due to the repeated attacks by terrorists, kidnappers, and other organized criminal groups. Kidnapping for ransom demand has become a disturbing norm without appropriate response from the authorities. When a deaf girl or a deaf woman is attacked, how can she shout? What about blind people and other forms of persons with disabilities? We are mostly affected and we are calling on government to do something as quickly as possible to save and secure our lives. The conspiracy of the security agents and the financial institutions, we need to dismantle it. The money goes to the banks, the criminals go and collect it. And then you go there and say, can we find the person, the owner of this account? They will tell you it will take 30 days. You go, keep going there. So the, the collusion is, is, is clear. So it's a Nigerian crisis. And we have to wake up to it. So whether you are media, you are civil society, you are a professional group, it is time to have a multi-stakeholder conversation on insecurity in the country. We a lot of young people are also joining these groups, either kidnapping and banditry and doing other things that are necessary. But the third aspect in the way and manner they are responding is people are running to IDP camps. I was in Borno, for example. You find someone coming to an IDP camp, running from his own, you know, violence in his village, comes to IDP camp with just a wife or no wife. But because there's relief material that's put stop by the federal government, after six months he ends up with four wives. <laughs> One wife in each IDP camp. And within this IDP camp, children are born, children are registered, they are becoming independent communities, they are becoming recruitment hubs. They, don't, they are not even willing to go back. They are very contented. Women are raped, people are abused. So all that is happening is we are cooking other perpetrators for the future.